finite difference finite difference scheme for linear advection equation is given as okay now given as now let's write this in uh, display math mode mathematics mode now u uh, underscore there are two many terms like i plus one comma j equals u underscore i comma j uh, minus uh, is it minus yeah uh, frac uh, c okay c d we need delta t so instead we will just write c uh, d uh, delta t right so we need delta symbol delta uh, t t t yeah and then we write delta uh, delta x okay that's the fraction uh, times we need another fractions another uh, do we need another fraction? No, no, we don't need another fraction. Uh, what we need is two square, uh, two normal brackets, and inside u uh, underscore i comma j i comma j. Uh, minus u underscore i minus one comma i comma j minus one i comma j minus one okay now if you run this there you have it you have the notation nicely you have you have the notation nicely this is actually the forward time backward space finite difference scheme for linear advection equation okay if you guys never heard of this before don't worry now the thing is because of using unders because of you this is how we write the subscript notations okay this is how we write the subscript notations okay and this way you are in a position to go further okay and one more thing you have to keep in mind is that uh, in these processes uh, while writing all the subscript uh, writing all the above formulas above formulas okay and these formulas i have introduced a few uh, kind of few terms at which i'll explain right now see to indicate the plus or minus symbol which we wrote over here just look at the control let's look at my arrow you see this part in this region you see this plus plus or minus symbol over here okay to uh, in latex this plus or minus symbol is given by this note is given by this notation backslash pm okay and that actually gives that so if you want to use the, the plus or minus symbol use this symbol use the symbol over here okay next thing the square root symbol uh, if for this heron's formula the entire this entire expression has to be put on a square inside a square root to make sure that the square root is possible we use this command square root now what is what now what is the difference like whenever we t we draw square root we, we, it came under several things right so let me some let me write something a equals sqrt now we just saw this we were we were using this square root all the time but there is this row square root as well so what does it look like now let me put this in a way now let me write 3 over here and then let me write b now watch how it happens how it unfolds there you have it a equals now it becomes cube root of b so if you want to use any other any other uh, p power or root okay this can be used now if it's since it's 3 it's this cube root of b suppose if i were to write 0 0.5 it's a half root of b half root of b just like that now this square root symbol that thereby has two options with on the first option you can just put the standard square root symbol in other option in this option um, in this option over here with which 
uh, we are in a position to write other routes as well okay next thing what we notice is that we saw the how to make powers okay and uh, the usage of powers but uh, this was this explanation itself was uh, quite convincing enough for you guys i suppose so it went out to be fine and then this in this example we saw how to use uh, a very large number of uh, contents under subscripts we saw how to use uh, superscripts uh, okay uh, superscripts super superscripts over here the subscripts over here and in this example we saw how to include a subscript as well as superscript okay suppose if you were to uh, go two levels of subscripts and superscripts it's also possible for instance for instance you uh, power uh, 35 power minus 46 45 something and then whole and uh, whole uh, underscore 45 45 this entire thing okay this entire thing uh, this entire thing 45 underscore 35 okay now well, what does it say is that this u will be taken to the power 35 and will have a suffix superscript 35 and this 35 will have a superscript minus 45 whereas this notation over uh, okay this has to be in quotes as well whereas here this this for this entire thing this 45 will be under the subscript and for this 45 uh, minus 35 will be under rich subscript so if we run this if we run this there you have it this minus 45 is on the power of 35 and this minus 35 is on the subscript of this 45 thereby you have you can have you can extend the subscripts and superscripts quite nicely quite nicely okay now that's about that's about this subscript part okay now let's look look into the another another topic which we did, which we saw over here okay uh, we saw this option over here delta now what is this delta when we use this notation over here we just got this triangle over here now that that looks a little odd isn't it like what is this now that is actually the representation of greek notations and greek symbols okay now uh, in math, in uh, since Greek symbols form a very large contribution to mathematical notations, mathematical notation, it is absolutely necessary to include them. Okay, and let's see, and uh, and uh, these are one of the ma simple mathematical notations that look to look for. So let me just write a few sections here. Uh, uh, section uh, square root and root square root and root so if I were to write this again let me copy uh, let me copy this first this part along uh, so if I were to write this, what should I write this as? Determine delta rate. So delta the discriminant equals square root of b square minus square ac. So if you want to keep that as a discriminant, doesn't matter. Uh, I mean doesn't matter. The uh, just uh, just the notation. So this way you have uh, single square root and multiple square root, and then special symbols you have plus or minus and then let's look at greek symbols that will be the new section uh, greek symbols okay In greek symbols to write them it's easy what you have to do is they just use the backslash symbol and write the first let write the in, uh, letter that intuitively comes to you to uh, explain uh, greek letters for instance uh, this is this will be your Greek letter alpha 
okay because that is what we pronounce it this is how we pronounce it as so if I write if I, if I just compile this out there you have it you have the Greek symbol alpha over here like that if you want to write beta let's say <coughs> it's simple right beta and this if you compile this you get beta okay now let's think about this in this way uh, let's use something the area of of a triangle a not, not a triangle of a circle is area of a circle is okay let's write this in display math mode so if you want you can write this as a equals you want the letter pi rate pi right so for that backslash pi and then r okay when you write r over here okay let's see how this turns out to be okay it just says that uh, there's an undefined control sequence a equals backslash pi or something now why is it so it looked on to be fine right but why is it a problem the problem is uh, these three letters they're all together over here so the compiler th understood a uh, compiler thought okay these this is actually an escape sequence and stuff control sequence and stuff so what you have to do when you're writing math uh, when you're writing greek symbols it's always better to give a space between the greek symbol and the and the other subsequent character so that uh, so that you don't have any issues either give a space or use another escape sequence with uh, with a backslash written next to it so that you you don't put you don't get yourself into trouble and you run this there you have it the pi r square turns out to be nice and now and now let's do something a little more see little more serious okay uh, sections in se our next section let's go to functions this way you can write all your uh, 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 in a, in a, let's say greek symbols as well okay there will be a small difference however so what I mean, what I mean is, uh, if I were to write the same thing with the capital I, the same pi with capital I, check it out what happens. Now this pi is a little different because it's a little bigger. Why? It's why is it so? It's because we use this capital P for pi here, and that's the reason. Similarly, if I were to replace alpha, the A of alpha with a capital A. Now watch this, how this alpha turns out to be. Obviously, I guess you don't have a capital alpha like that, I suppose. Uh, you don't have a capital alpha like that. I guess that's maybe that's the reason. Okay, do we have a beta? I'm not sure. Right, hopefully, I guess not. But, now watch this. gamma okay and then if uh, to write delta okay and then let me give delta this is available hey, even big gamma is available so if I were to build all this build all this see the symbols see them uh, alpha beta gamma delta and this and uh, delta with a capital D comes as a triangle whereas the gamma with a capital G comes like this okay and if you notice there's hardly any there's uh, since I wrote all of them in the same uh, uh, dollar sign there's hardly any space in them so if you're now if I just put all of them in a single uh, display math mode there's hardly any space now that won't be nice so if I want to give a little spacing between them okay you might have thought okay let me give a space like this and this should be fine this should be fine now if I run this up there's no space again now the problem is is problem is your what you said is right but uh, okay uh, 
but because of the case insensitivity issue 